Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Queen of Kryn. All right, I made myself, uh, I made my way to one of the uh, um, shafts. There is a loud, there is a hiss, and a bulbous shape rises slowly out of the shaft. A gnome windship on it, Hrimbish Nog struggles to repel many salamanders. What do you do? Leap aboard! You streak across the floor, and as a team, leap the chasm onto the frail gondola. Islandwee slams into a salamander and sends it plummeting. Hrimbish Nog slices a rope and the rest of the salamanders lose their grab holds and fall. The windship shoots upward. The gnomes with you are left behind. Aww. Rumbish Nog struggles to regain control of the ship. Meanwhile, you shoot up a level. In desperation, Rumbish Nog throws out a grappling with a grapple. With a lurch, the ship stops rising. He has hooked an arch on an upper level of the Tower of Flame. Okay. So we made it up. That's fantastic. I'm quite happy with that. Rumbish Nog breathes a sigh. Well, I found you. But it took some doing, huh? His brave tale is interrupted. The door ahead flies open. A man rushes through, but skids to a stop at the chasm's edge. A large group of draconians amble after him, hissing and cackling evilly. A woman is with them. None seem to notice you floating above the arch. Make her burn him, the draconian snicker, in an auric commands the woman to do so. With tears coursing down her cheeks, she steps forward, and her hands burst into flame. Chrissy, no, Danar pleads. He lifts his sword. You have only a moment to act. Clinging to the gondola, you have no weapons ready. Sure we do. What do you do? Use a spell. You only have time for... One of a handful of spells. Charm Person, Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile, Dispel Magic. Which do you cast? Dispel Magic, of course. Who do you target? Chrissia. Are you sure? Yes. In the nick of time, you break the charm spell on her. Exhausted, she sags to her knees at the edge of the chasm. The Draconians are enraged. She has slipped the spell. Push them both into the, ab the abyss. What do you do? Attack! Intent on their prey, the Draconians do not suspect that death may lurk above them. Silly Draconians. Holy crap. Oh, that is not good. We are going to be taking a hell of a lot of damage here. This is going to be, this is, uh, well, let's try to disintegrate. A Bozak or an Aurak? Actually, maybe I'll target Cybac. Ah, uh, unaffected. Damn it. Let's go with the Magic Missile. Oh, they're regular Orax. Oh, that is actually a little bit better, although that's an enchanted. Right, let's target that one. Oh, you dolt. You lost all that experience I gave him, too. That's fine. That's not. That's that's not so fine, actually.
That's okay. Ooh. Oh, good. Rises in a new form. Taking quite a bit of damage there. Can't target that one, huh? Alright, how about that one? Alright, um, actually... Let's see, maybe I have... Do I have a meter swarm on one of these scrolls? I do. Let's see how well that's going to do. Mm, doesn't look like it's going to work all that well. Eh, quite a bit of damage to Dana. gonna hit crow unfortunately let's see how well that'll that's gonna that no he's gonna die Okay, for now. Did that rise in a new form? I do not know. Is that enough to kill it? Not quite. Um, I want to kill that one first, though. Lovely. Just have these two left. They're unhurt. Go with magic missile again. Nope, don't need to target them. Target that one. That is disappointing. Annoying. Come on, magic missile. Fantastic, goes mad. And now we're getting some explosions. I don't need to be on that, I want to be on the darts. 
That's a miss. Let's go with another magic missile on, uh, not on that, on that. The Kopak. That should not quite kill it. Oh, man. Okay, rises in a new form. All right, Danor. Time to run the hell away. And I screwed up. Ow! He's killed. Well, he's human, so I can resurrect him. Continue battle. Nope. Found treasure. Chrissy has dragged Captain Danor back to the windship, out of harm's way. But her foot kicks the grapple and knocks it free. No! Shouts Rumbik Schnog as the windship shoots uncontrollably out of sight with them on board. Oh. Well, that's okay then. I don't need to resurrect him. Can I fix? Yes, I can. Alright, let's get back to the map. We're back up to the level that we were at before. Awesome. Wait. No, I don't want to jump into the shaft. Crap. Um, this is actually... Oh, maybe if we go... Actually, is there anything... Yeah, let's go ahead and look out. Nope. If we go to the other side. Slender bridge stretches across this chasm. Cross it? Yes. You venture onto the delicate structure. Ah, good. So one of them will be intact and you just have to go to that one instead of the other one. That is very nice. Creatures of flame duck into the walls and circle warily around you. Not sure exactly where the battle is for this next part. Servants of evil flee before you like chaff in a hurricane. Chaff grenades? Oh no, Buck Rogers is around here somewhere. Alright. I think it's going to be in the next part, so let me go ahead and cast some, uh, some magic to protect me. Uh, I don't think I need to do too much. Let's start with, uh, actually, let's start with Crow. Go with Bless. Prayer. Protection from Fire. Start with Crow. Old. Go with bark skin just for the hell of it. Uh, mirror image. And resist fire for pretty much everyone else. Protection from evil 10 foot radius going. I think that's all that he has. Alright. Let's see. Resist fire on moon shadow. What else we got? Protection from evil on crow. Island we. I don't think I need any protections from cold. That should be good. He's already done. Island Wee, what do you have? Enlarge on Elmandretta. Go with Detect Invisibility, Mirror Image. Haste, of course. Gotta have a haste. Uh, protection from Evil 10 foot radius on Grinchka. Fire Shield Cold. With fire touch on all, fire touch on crow, iron skin, mass invisibility, uh, 
Uh, go with an enlarge on yourself. Fire shield cold. Hold off on globe of invulnerability for now. Protection from evil 10 foot radius. Um, I got them. So let's go with Ellie. Uh, fire shield cold. Looks good. Let me see if there's anything else. Nah. She get her uh, fire shield going? Yeah, she did. All right. So globe of invulnerability and globe of invulnerability. There we go. You step into the inner court of the sanctum of the Tower of Flame. Ahead there is a black tripod holding aloft an ornate blood-red cauldron. In the tall cauldron rests a great spherical object, gray in color, glowing with an unearthly pallor. The energy you feel is that of the Grathenich, the legendary creative greystone of Kryn. You remember there are others in the hall. All around you, Draconians and their evil allies have gathered in a deadly ring. Now they all speak with one voice. Ah, my fondest, fondest desire will come true after all. I have always intended that my next footsteps upon Kryn would be upon the heads of irksome unbelievers. The time has come. I must prepare myself for rebirth. Minions, lay out my red carpet. Oh, goody. Best person to go first. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, uh, the, oh, crap, and there are beholders, too. Uh, actually, that's, you know, not quite the best person to go first. All right, let's see. So we actually do not have any down there. We've got a small group there. Uh, Delay Blast Fireball is not going to affect her. And I don't think it'll affect that. Over here. What effect? Okay, so best bet is probably to see if I can get her there and do a, a, a cone of cold. Nothing's going to do anything against that guy. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this Cone of Cold off quickly. Um, actually, the Footman's Dragon Lance, I think, would do a bit more damage than the Vorpal Blade. Surprised that it did not kill that. Uh, that was actually probably the wrong place to cast it. It was indeed the wrong place to cast it. Damn it. Alright. Going cold. Alright. Um. Going. Twenty-seven. Only twenty-seven. Jeez. All right, something is casting. That is casting. Stop that. Fourteen hit points. Come on. Not enough. We're gonna go with a cone of cold here. That's a little 
9. Ah, crap. I did damage to her, damn it. Ten hit points, not gonna be able to take it out. Voids it? What the hell does a voids it mean? What ability is that? I think they cheated and gave them stuff that they can't actually have. Alright, let's get off that. There we go. This should be good. the uh, staff sling. Excellent. Okay, there we go. And rises in a new form. I think that's the last of them. Come on, you can die already. Thank you. Did you battle? No. But I believe there is another wave after this. Each character receives 17,496 experience points. I love the sound of that. Fortunately, I think we're really not going to be... A second wave of evil servants waits in the wings. And there are dragons. Luckily, our haste spell should still be working. Oh, crap. There's undead. Uh, death dragon... I wonder if death dragons count as a... Nope, there's a lich. That is not good. Alright. Let's see. Anything behind us? No. Anything in front of us? No. So it's just to the sides. This is not good, actually. It's quite a few things that are... very, very bad. Okay, well. We can start by taking care of the uh, dragons. There's... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It's a little late, so I'm a little bit tired. You can die. You can die. Alright, there are no more dragons over there, but there are draconians. There are dragons over there, but I don't know that I want to go after them right now uh, with him. Alright, let's get off that, get onto the fine longbow. I don't care about these guys at all. Um, I do care about that. I definitely am going to delay Blast Fireball right here in the middle of this group. It's probably not going to do much to a bunch of those guys. Let's see. Fire minion is healed. I don't really care. <laughs> Be healed all you want. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, nice. Something's casting. What is casting? You are casting.
Might as well start using these. No. Ah, uh, let's cheat a little bit. No. I do not have any better arrows, unfortunately. Too close. That's annoying. didn't do any damage to the uh, stupid uh, Bozak. I do not like that. Alright, let's... Magic Missile. Kill that one. Good. Oh, crap. pretty quickly. I want to go after that guy. Now, let's go after him. Goes mad. Rises in a new form. Okay. I'd rather not go after that one. just made a beeline for her piece of crap. Okay, good. Take care of that one. Let's go after that. Kill him. Alright, I should probably... Get to the flail, kill that uh, fire minion, and then move out of the way. Uh. Yes. Alright, magic missile. How about... how are you doing on hit points? You're doing really quite well. How about you? You're doing okay. Go after that guy. Oh! to explode, and I guess we'll go after this thing. You can die. Thank you.
and the light crossbow. Nope, not gonna go after either of those. We'll go after that one. Okay. And there we go. Now we just gotta wait for these to explode. And there they go! Continue battle new! 19,000 experience points. All around the hall are dead bodies. The floor is slick with blood. You hear another voice now, a man's. He whispers, So the queen has a red carpet after all. There's the rattle of chains. Heroes, you have not disappointed me. Come. The jaw drops, exposing blackness. You enter the abyss. You find yourselves falling between worlds. That looked very, very odd. You look around. This is recorded as journal entry 16. Where are you, 16? Journal entry 16, Void. You stand upon a vast undulating plain. Undulating plain. It seems featureless, but as you look more closely, here and there, a bit of ruin juts above the sand. Dark Sun? No. Actually, this background, the, um, this background site could be used for Dark Sun. Suddenly, on a wave of despair, all the lore you've ever heard about the Abyss comes flooding back into your minds. And you suddenly realize that you're not in the Abyss, you're in Bator. The Nine Hells, because that's where Takesis lives. You remember hearing about how... Yeah, okay, I added that part, I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry, but I added that part. You remember hearing about how whole houses, ships, and cities, doomed by pride, hate, or treachery, have been thrown into the Abyss, and how those doomed to sojourn here end up begging others for death, a boon that is seldom granted. You recall hearing that the Abishai... See? Abishai! They're from the Nine Hells! Minions that dwell here maniacally claw each other to reach the Red Gate of Weirlish, where they are reincarnated as Draconians. You remember the immense price that the hero, Huma, I was wondering if it's supposed to be Huma or Huma, I don't know, whatever, made to banish Takesis, creator of all evil, to this loathsome plane. And finally you recall the folk wisdom about the Abyss, easy to get into, impossible to leave. So it's what, Gilligan's Island? You cannot imagine a place more unnatural and forbidding. Welcome to the Abyss. Okay, now... Synopsis. The characters wander the Abyss until they find a circular room. Yay. Well, let's see. What direction should we go? I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. See you then.